Okay, I bet one place that you're absolutely, well, maybe not absolutely, I bet there's some of you that do, but I bet one place that you're not carrying a gun for self-defense is at the gym. Because you won't have something to defend yourself in a situation where you might need it, well, at a gym, you have plenty of weight plates that might be able to stop quite a few bullets. So today, we are going to be shooting this 25 pound cast iron weight i know it's not like a regular weight plate that you'd put on a barbell but it's still pretty thick 25 pounds it's gonna do the exact same thing as one of those round weight plates so we're gonna shoot it with all the different bullets today and see if in a situation in the gym if one of these weights can save your life so so I actually attempted to film this video last week and I wanted to post it last week. We got out here on the range and this crazy windstorm came in. I'll throw in a, in a clip. You can't even hear me talking. So, um, I've already taken shots with the 22 long rifle, but we're going to do it again today just because you can actually hear me this time. So there's four hits. Two of them were from last time, like I said, but 22 long rifle did absolutely nothing. It pretty much just scratched off that rough exterior paint, pretty much. Absolutely no damage. Next on the list is the nine millimeter full metal jacket. Here we go. Ready? Still no damage. Nailed it right in between the two and the five. Still no damage. Pretty much the exact same thing as the 22. So we got to go bigger. The 57 by 28 is a smaller projectile and it's supposed to be better at penetrating. Will it do any better and actually leave a dent? Let's find out. Here we go. Still no dent from any of these bullets so far, which means we just got to move up to rifles. That's the only thing that's really going to make dents. If an active shooter came into the gym with handguns, you would be able to use these weights as self-protection. So let's move on to rifles. First rifle we're going to shoot is the AR-15, the 223. This is my brother's who is behind the camera. This is his newest purchase. A nice, good looking AR-15 from Palmetto State Armory. But he has not shot this gun yet, so this is going to be his first shot. You wanna switch me real quick? We don't even know if it's sighted in, but it should be, should be fun. Here we go. Gonna find out if it's sighted in at all. Go for it. Sounds like you nailed it to me. Oh yeah, that, that was a good hit. And it made a very significant dent right there. Probably a quarter of the way through this plate. 223 did some damage. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot the same gun but with some green tip. See if it'll do any more damage. So this was the bullet we just shot, the 223, and this is a 556 green tip. Supposed to be better at penetrating, so we'll see if it does any more damage and can possibly make it through this plate. Who knows? But here we go. Was it worth the money? Yeah. Good. Okie dokie. So I would say it definitely went in deeper and more clean. You know what I mean? Like it's mm -hmm. a pretty precise hole right there compared to that one. So I would say it definitely did more damage, but it did not go all the way through. Just gotta keep trying. Here we go. 762 by 39, 122 grain full metal jacket. Can it do any better? We'll find out bullet is still in there is it oh no dang it i thought it was that was the 762 by 39 which did less damage than the 223 full metal jacket so far that green tip is winning compared to the 223 the 308 is a very big bullet so it is possible that it can go through this plate i have my doubts i don't think it will honestly pretty much did the same as everything else on here 308 did not go all the way through. It did way less damage than I thought it was going to do. What that means is we need to step it up now to the 50 cal. Okie dokie, this should definitely be enough to go through it because compared to everything, compared to the 308, which was our last bullet, I mean, come on. This thing's going straight through. Ready? Yep. Here's what happens. I mean, <laughs> it's still a good shot. <laughs> I hit right on the handle pretty much, but it went straight through this thing. Even if I would have hit dead center, like it would have gone straight through. That was, there's no stopping it. Pretty much if you're at the gym in a situation where you don't have a firearm and you need to protect yourself, those weight plates that they have are gonna do a lot to up against everything except for a 50 cal. You better hope that no one's sneaking into a gym with a big old 50 cal, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't make it to the front door anyways. Yeah, that's about all I've got for you today. So thank you as always for watching these videos. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button.
and I'll see you guys next time.